Hello, this is not a spring chicken. You know, it's really cold out there, but I'm doing an opening in a bathrobe. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it does get cold in Southern California. And it's kind of funny because I can feel the changes as it gets warmer and colder from outside. Maybe it's because we're near a window sometimes when we're working, but boy. Well, it's no wonder. It was, we had, what, a snowstorm, rainstorm, it was sleeting. Actually, in Venice, this past weekend, now Venice, okay, is pretty close to me. It's like within a few miles. So, it was cold, which is why I'm like this. Okay, it's not going to be for long because we're going to be warming up. We're still waiting to warm up. But for now, we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> okay, so old Cam forgot his hat to take, so guess what I gave him? <laughs> well, I kept telling her, I was, I was actually on this show. You know, you got the string in the front. <laughs> you know, I don't know, put it in the back. But my, my, little, my sisters, who were much younger than I am, what was it like to be on with Mickey? And then I have to explain to it, Mickey's not real. And they would say, yes, Mickey's real. So. Mm -hmm. And President Obama asked Medvedev for space on missile defense. After my election, I have more flexibility. Oh, I mean, he's getting it from everybody about that. I mean, we're talking to people on the Democratic, the Democratic Party, the House and Senate, who are having to run for real. But it, the way it worked out was two out of every three available Senate seats this time are Democrats. Mm -hmm. And and uh, and half of them support the military, which he's getting to begin with. Now he's getting ready to screw with our missile de missile defense system, and he made it when they the, the one guy said one of the Democratic senators who's very unhappy. Well, actually, she she wanted to know just what other deals is he making with people that we don't know about. And uh, the press is basically they they like sharks. If they know there's blood in the water, they go and they know that he is screwed up, major big time. They also discovered something else very important that a lot of people didn't realize. Uh, Mr. Medvedev speaks perfect English. Ooh. Yeah, he doesn't need an interpreter uh, because he answered uh, back in very good English. So you learn much by people making errors because you can guess Vladimir Putin probably is ready to send this guy to Siberia for being caught. Mm -hmm. Well, and the other part is, is when they work through an interpreter, there's two reasons for doing it. One is maybe they, their English is not quite as good as um, they would like it to be. Or the second reason is, is by going through an interpreter, it gives him a little bit more time to contemplate on the answer. Oh, I know, but in this case, Medvedev's voice, speaking voice, is far better than Obama's speaking voice is. Are you serious? Oh, absolutely. The English is much better, and he sounds more. He sounds more like an American than Obama does. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, so much for having an open mic. They don't, because, like I said, the Russian people. Are, are, he, he speaks English that well, you know, because what happens is the Russians... Oh, you know what, it. they would probably um, went to rest, uh, Western education, too. Yeah, but they're not supposed to be able to uh, speak English that well, though. Mm -hmm. Unlock the hidden mysteries of your city. The future is now. Oh, I know. Okay, what happens is every city in the United States has things that basically, if, if you... If you want to make the city move forward, sometimes you have to take a step backwards. You know, like the movie Back to the Future? Mm -hmm. Because they discovered things in a lot of cities that are far more progressive than what they're doing now, and they're going backwards in order to make the cities work at the moment, which basically Stockton needs to do, because Stockton is about to become the largest municipality ever to declare bankruptcy. And politics put Etch-a-Sketch back in the picture. I know. I mean, they're not, but Romney can't get away with it. I mean. Charles Krautheimer did admit, I was mistaken, this is an issue that is not going to go away with Mitt Romney. Mm -hmm. But the way it works is sort of brilliant. I mean, that Romney is going to win the delegate count and lose 35 states probably in the uh, primaries. And that means he can't win the election, folks, because Obama doesn't need more than about 15 states to win. MP, score, P? Hmm? Scores arrested in Vermont nuclear reactor protest. So this P is better. Okay. Um, scores arrested in Vermont nuclear reactor protest. Yeah, because they're, I mean, okay, the Greenies do not want nuclear power. They don't want any, they, want, they, want that, they don't want water power. They don't want this. They don't want coal power. All they want is green power, which we know is totally infeasible. I mean, we went to the last wind power conference, 
and it was totally different than the one that preceded it that we went to where they're talking about, you know, I think this thing costs 27 cents a kilowatt more than we can charge people. Mm -hmm. This time they were saying, well, don't worry about it. The President of the United States has guaranteed all of the bills be paid. And so it's basically, a, you know, a kids in the candy. God, I mean, can you imagine if they, the petroleum people and the President of the United States aren't going to be fully backing the United, with the United power of the United States government. You'd be, drill. you'd, you'd be drilling. They'd be drilling in people's backyards in Southern California. Slaying teens, friends, so he never picked a fight. Okay, here's the problem is, the kid is not the angel now, because somebody slipped out the end. He was on suspension for drug possession and other assorted, other assorted things that he shouldn't have been doing in his school. And they also now have a witness to the fact that the kid attacked him. Oh. Yeah, and that is exactly, it doesn't make any difference what the 9-11 the dispatcher may have heard it's what happened. There is an eye, one eyewitness to what happened and the eyewitness said the kid picked a fight. Mm -hmm. So. And space junk threatened station astronauts. Yeah, well, the problem Isn't is... Isn't that always true? Well, yeah, they're always, no matter what, the, the sooner or later the space station is going to get hit by something substantial. And if they need to have that, you know, let's put a force field around the shield, Scotty. That they haven't figured out. Basically, all you got to do is throw up a magnetic shield around the outside of the thing and force things away. And cash spills on the highway, what would you do? I wouldn't touch this stuff because it's got awful. Okay, I can guarantee you in Utah there are so many cameras on highways that you do not want to come anywhere near something that falls on the road. And basically, Southern California, too. You can't go 10 foot without finding a camera parked somewhere. Oh, really? Well, no, it's called grand theft. I mean, I. What happened was my father was what we were doing a motorcycle officer for the LA Police Department. He said um, they had a, uh, a truck full of coins turned over, and people were scrambling to pick up the coins, and the officers were threatening to shoot everybody because it was you know basically it was a massive robbery, and they were stealing everything because it's still theft, folks. And if they catch you stealing something and you refuse to halt, and they you know might they. My father said his partner told the guy that one person had picked up a, about a thousand dollars in in uh, fifty cent pieces. That uh, he told him to halt three That's times. The guy didn't halt and shot him in the leg. Mm -hmm. It's it's it's, it's a big crime to do that. So don't touch. If something falls on the highway, just forget it ever existed. Romney, Obama's health law and unfolding disaster. Well, yeah, but Romney created Romney Care. Romney Care is the basis for Obamacare. And you notice that nobody, not one other state in the United States followed Romney's suit. You also understand that Romney got threw out of office the next, uh, the next election because the people of the state, they, they basically, they added a zillion dollars a year to the cost of the state, they increased everybody's pro premiums, and they still didn't get everybody covered. Well, decibel alert, partisans dial up health care noise. Well, yeah, well, because the people on the left are really trying to shout down the people on the right. People on the left are paying people, unemployed people, like 50 bucks to come over and protest because their, people, their people do not want to be caught protesting. Isn't that something? Yeah. No, because there is, the President of the United States is basically disavowing the thing. As it is this morning, Justice Kennedy, like everybody that had half a brain except Bill O'Reilly, and a few of the people on Fox that worship the ground the president works on, works on basically said um, what he said last week. He said, don't you consider this to be a massive overstepping the powers of the United States government and the burden of proof is upon you to explain to me why I should let the United States government uh, mandate from the time a person takes his first breath uh, until he dies everything that a person in this nation should do and that uh, he should be a force because the very fact that he's born here be forced to buy something the government demands and they basically um, after that was said which is a reaffirmation of last week the democrats all of a sudden started on a backup plan for obamacare and then wait for it to get to be they said wait for it to be introduced this spring a backup plan um, yep studies suggest too much sitting can kill you yeah, because what it, that sedentary people are more likely to die than active people, even though active people tend to have more heart attacks. Oh, really? Yeah. Police officers suspended over Trayvon online comments. The problem is, is that 
We have a constitution that guarantees people the rights of freedom of speech. The problem is today, if somebody doesn't like your right, uh, they stop on it. I mean, most people don't realize that the, that the man that designed our capital was also a great French philosopher. The French philosopher had made this very important statement that when the rights of the majority are trampled upon, the rights of the minority are soon to follow. And Vermont police believe they found the teacher's body. I know. I mean, they, some guy knocked off a te left their two-year-old kid in a in a SUV outside a building and then knocked off the woman, which is I mean, that's oh. ridiculous. I know. Photos. Museum sheds light on unsinkable Molly Brown. Oh God. I mean, I, okay. You can't go to Denver without seeing the unsinkable Molly Brown museum because I think she dedicated a god awful amount of stuff to the city of. Denver. And weight loss surgeries may be standard treatments for diabetes. Yeah, because if they get rid of a lot of the problem, okay, a lot of people with diabetes are just plain overweight, folks. Yeah. And they, you, you drop the weight down, change their diet, and they get a lot healthier. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. An explosion destroys home of Georgia Chicken Man. It's basically, what was he doing in the home? So. <laughs> and Martin family police want to demonize the victim. Uh, that's because all of a sudden it was released that the kid was not the angel that everybody was saying he was. Which, okay, to put it this way, he's, he's out in front of somebody's house late at night, there's a curfew in the city, he's underage, and um, do you actually have a right, what are you doing loitering in front of my home? Mm -hmm. Because out here, okay, um, the same city of Los Angeles has an anti-loitering or ordinance for children, uh, minors, they can basically throw, be thrown in a jail cell for doing it. And Strauss Kahn slapped with aggravated pimping charges. And, you know, that's the that's the guy in um, the, you know that Strauss guy in France. Basically, the Obama people are still trying to get this guy, you know, convicted of something. They they're not going to get you in France for a charge in the United States. I mean, they consider him a national hero. He stood up to Obama and won. And Afghan forces killed three NATO soldiers. That's right. These are people we're supposed to be supporting. The problem is they're Muslim. The Muslims don't like the Christian people. That's why, okay, whether they believe, like it or not, Russians are Greek Orthodox, and the Greek Orthodox religion and the Muslim religion don't coincide with one another. So they were, you're never going to win that battle either. They've been throwing, they've been killing uh, Christians for a zillion years in Afghanistan. Ah, and the Pope arrives in Mexico denouncing violence. Yeah, the problem is is that there have been more people killed in the name of, of, of Christianity and, and other religions than any other battle ever held. And Facebook takes steps to address privacy concerns. They're threatening to sue every employer that asked that. They said an employer that asked that now is a real dumbo. <laughs> and a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, this is from my father. My my father said, when you're about to lose everything, it, that's the time to gamble everything you have left because it isn't going to make any difference whether you uh, lose it or not.